Hello everybody, welcome to my 10 minute show, but I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet. The point of this is I'm going to try to force myself to spend 10 minutes at least every day making something, because too many days have gone by where I've accomplished zero art-wise, and it's uh, discouraging, and I want it to stop. So, <clears throat> since it's only 10 minutes, I'm going to start with these little sketchbook pages like this, and uh, I'm going to stop talking now so I can keep get more of my 10 minutes. Okay, so it's about 9.45 p.m. right now, and I'm going to start. So the, the reason, mostly, why I haven't been able to do anything lately is because I've had a whole mess of stuff happening uh, otherwise art-related. Art I've been teaching a lot of classes. I've been um, doing some professional uh, caricature work, which is weird because I don't really do that. Um, luckily, I wasn't. I don't have to do likenesses. I'm doing the other part of the caricature where you make up the background and stuff. It's a lot of fun, though. I'll tell you, it's uh, it's pretty interesting the kind of things you can force yourself to come up with when you only got like three minutes to make something. <laughs> so that's sort of what I've been doing. And that and the day job, which is still ridiculously long hours. The commute. Uh, seriously, folks, the commute is killing me. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to find some way around that now, but it's just really hard. Um, today is the last day I had a class or anything for this week, and it's it marks about eight days in a row I've had to work on stuff. I know that's no great shakes. Anybody who's ever worked retail before, you've, you've done all kinds of long hours and days in a row. I think my personal record's like 11 days in a row without a break, but the point of this is uh, these are not normal days. Because of the commute with this job, they're like 15-hour days. And on the weekend, which was today and yesterday, my days off, technically speaking, I have the classes to teach and the caricaturing to do. So, And that's always at night, the caricature stuff. So it's hard to get to bed early enough to, to get some rest. Um, and I'm not terribly good at forcing myself to go to sleep any, anymore these days anyway, but I better get better at it or I'm not going to survive. Uh, as far as what I'm doing here, I'm just drawing with colored pencil. Just a plain old chunky, giant, German colored pencil. Normally I would be a bit lighter than this, so I was worried it wasn't going to show up in the video. And I'm not sure what I'm drawing here, so I'm just fiddling around. I'm going to plan on inking this too. But that's as far as I'm going to go with this. Uh, like I said, 10 minutes. So, the question always comes up, what do you do when you only have a few minutes to draw something? And you don't, you just want to draw something. If I wasn't, if I had any sense, I'd probably be studying something. I'd be making a study of something. But I don't, and I don't have time to, to get any tonight, so I'm going to draw something I'm familiar with enough that I can just draw it. Just for the accomplishment of actually drawing something. In this case, it's a skeleton, cartoony style, as usual. With almost no reference to the real world. But hopefully it's still mildly entertaining. Makes me laugh, anyway. That's half the problem with this stuff, is... Because I can't work on anything, I get depressed. And it makes it harder to actually go back into working on stuff. Because you're like, well, if I don't, if I can't do it, does it matter? Does anybody care? Do I care? You have to kind of get the mentality that it's okay not to do it, and that's that makes it really hard to get back into doing it. <laughs> um, so you know, you force yourself sometimes. You jump in. You record yourself doing stuff for ten minutes so that you can post it on the web and shame yourself publicly. If that's what it takes. And that is sometimes what it takes. I don't know what I'm even thinking with this. I've been doing so, many, so much cartooning stuff lately. It's really hard for me to get back in the mode of a realism. Or <clears throat> figuratism. Or anything even remotely related to what I usually like to do. The painting stuff. The detailed stuff. So I am doing kind of cross cartooniness thing. Where everything's kind of abstracted already. This anatomy is not even close to normal. Not bad. Five minutes in and I'm ready to ink. Kinda. Uh, I'm using a Pentel regular brush pen, not the pocket brush. Sepia ink. And as I recall, this one's really dry, so I'm just test it out here. I'm using my new art table, too. I got this, like, a month ago, and I've yet to do anything significant in it. Which is another bummer. 
but that shit starts now. Because tonight I'm doing something. Tired of going through the whole day going, I didn't accomplish anything today. <laughs> Which is never really true, but it feels like it. <clears throat> so, you do something so that you can have something to tell yourself. Yes, you did do something. You drew a crazy little cartoon skeleton in your pocket sketchbook. And you made a little video of it for the world to see. Mostly, the video part is to force me to actually do this. I had the idea to do this a couple of days ago. Maybe I had a snazzy idea for a name for the show. Something about ten minutes, something. But I don't even recall that now. <coughs> because I thought of the idea in the midst of falling asleep. So, like a lot of great ideas that happen in that way, I don't remember. Hopefully it'll come back to me. Right now it's just... Watch me do this for 10 minutes, and hopefully turn out something that you can tell what it is. That's the goal for tonight. <laughs> so that tomorrow when I'm at work, struggling, wishing I was drawing, I'll at least be able to say, well, you did do something. I get quiet sometimes when I draw, so... Another reason this shows more for me, really, than you guys. Just thought maybe if anybody was interested in seeing what the hell is going on, or... Watching me st struggle through something. Real time. Since it's only ten minutes. Those of you with a careful eye will notice, or even in moderately awake, will notice that I am redrawing almost all this in ink. I'm not even following half my lines. Part of that's because they were not very good. And secondary to that is that this brush is so, like, wet, it's hard to control. But that's kind of good. You get these weird sort of effects when you lose control of your brush. It also forces you to work faster, which is something I'm trying to teach myself to get better at this job I've got for the caricaturing. Because honestly, people expect a drawing like that to take maybe five minutes. And I get about whatever, I get whatever's left after the portrait artist is done. So around three, if they're, they're pretty good, so around three minutes, which is, you know, enough time. If you happen to know exactly what you want to do before you start, which, <laughs> that's another problem. But it's taught me a lot of thinking on my feetness, if that's a thing. I'm making it a thing. The ability to either stammer your way through something or immediately start drawing until something comes out of the end of the pencil. And the only way to get through that with any kind of dignity is to have enough practice at improvisation so that when you're not thinking about it, you can still draw something. It's one thing to know how something looks, and to draw it the way it looks. But when you're not sure, and you're trying to make it up convincingly, that's when you run into trouble. i got about two minutes left here, according to my clock, which is probably wrong. If I go over this time, not a big deal. It's the first show. don't even have a name yet, what are you worried about? No pressure. Like I said, it's mostly for me. If you're going to rush any of it, this is not the part to rush. <laughs> you rush the beginning stages, not the final stages. But like everything else I do in art, I need just I usually convince myself it's not a big deal, so that's how I can get through it. That's really the only way I can get through it. As soon as I start realizing how important something might be, it gets really tough. And for some reason, this spider, uh, this skeleton has Steve Ditko's spider sense. And he's very surprised. I don't understand that part, but... Let's put him in somewhere. He's in the ground. He's coming out of the ground! Okay.
an arm of shadow, so it looks like it's doing something. Okay. There we are. Roughly ten minutes. Hopefully that's in frame. There we go. In frame. And in the light. And it's a skeleton. And thank you all for watching.